with this week's vlog. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So welcome to this week's vlog. It's probably going to be a relatively minimal one because I have a lot of editing to do. Uh, I'm working on a new hiking video that needs to come out over the next week or so. And uh, I just spent the last two nights just squeezing out this piece of music. Take a look. I'm actually quite happy with that one, but still there's a lot more work to do, so probably less shooting, probably more talking on this this vlog. Which is fine because part of the whole point of starting this vlog is to work on the talking bits anyway. So I was just watching KC Neistat the other day and I actually just recently found him by the way. Uh, there was this video, I think a relatively old one, where uh, there was a sequence at the end of the video where he was rushing to the airport and he was trying to make the last flight because he wanted to go back and see his baby and he was getting really really frustrated because of all the traffic that was getting in the way and what stuck out to me about that sequence is that he kept the camera running uh, if I were in a situation like that and things are in a pinch and I really needed to get something done I, the first thing to go would be the camera because I just can't spare the mental bandwidth, you know, to keep the camera running and to think about how to get shots and stuff like that. But for him, I know maybe he has done this a lot and it, it becomes second nature or something. He kept the camera running and even though it's all chaotic and he was just in a huge rush to, you know, return his rented car, get his stuff checked in and all that stuff. But the result still comes out looking rather nice. And I find that rather incredible, you know? It makes me think that there's, you know, more to this business of making these vlog style videos than just, you know, camera skills or, you know, getting good shots. But there's also a kind of, I don't know, instinct, talent, skills, whatever you want to call it, in just camera management, in how to keep the footage rolling in and how to make sure it comes in in a way that when you edit it together, it still looks pretty good. So. What I'm trying to say is that the rabbit hole runs rather deep. There's a lot of space for me to grow here. And that is just exactly how I like it, so. Right. Heading now for lunch at the coffee shop that's just downstairs. Ice cold tea, it's such a relief in this sort of weather, it's such a motivator, it literally keeps me alive, not literally. So if you're wondering about that odd sequence where I was washing my hands and singing a tune earlier in this video, well, that's related to the COVID situation. So the major advice that we're getting 
for this COVID thing is to wash our hands and not just willing really to the advice seems to be to wash your hands for at least as long as 20 seconds whenever you can anyway so I saw a video the other day where there was this choir and they were recommending that you sing the doxology when you wash your hands because that will guarantee that you're washing it for at least 20 seconds so I thought it'd be a funny thing to do so I did that was definitely more than 20 seconds but hey it was fun so while we're on the topic, let's talk about the COVID situation a little bit and specifically why I'm still going out and pretty much living my life as normal even though COVID is out there. Now, to look at the situation, we first must go back down to basics and ask what is life about? Now we don't have to get very specific with that. All I need is something to the effect that life is about doing stuff, doing interesting things. So the doing of interesting things is the measure of the quality of your life and even the quality of humanity. Humanity is basically about people, human beings, going out and doing interesting stuff. Where interestingness can be defined in terms of altruism, creativity, meaningfulness, we don't have to get into that, but basically it's about doing stuff. Now given that, we can analyze a threat situation like the COVID situation as follows. You have two options. You can either go out and do your stuff as per normal, and ignore the risks or you could be very cautious and basically stay in not do anything write it out so we can analyze these options like this if you are extremely cautious and you stay in and not do anything then your contribution to the doing of interesting stuff is zero for the duration of your uh, self-quarantine. On the other hand, if you go out and continue living as per normal, doing your stuff, then you continue contributing to doing interesting stuff. But if you die, and naturally, your contribution is zero from the point of death onwards. And faced with a problem like that, in probability theory, you would optimize the solution by maximizing the expectation value of the amount of interestingness that you contribute. So, how you would do this is you would weight each option by their interestingness contribution and their probability. Long story short, the solution comes out something like this. If the probability of dying is low, then you should lean towards living normally and continue contributing as per normal. If the probability of dying is not low, then you should shift towards being extremely cautious. So in my case, I think my probabilities are fairly low given my age group, my health, and more importantly, the fact that I'm not living with anyone who is in a high risk group that I might uh, risk helping to infect. Therefore, I think that the best course of action for me is to continue living more or less as per normal while taking precautions, of course, like washing my hands while singing in doxology. There's also something to be said about normalcy. Now, normalcy is the th something that you don't miss until it's gone, right? When I first came back to Singapore, Singapore was one of the hardest hit outside of China. Of course, the situation is different now, but at that point was the point where Singaporeans were, you know, panic buying toilet paper and all of that stuff, right? And it was all in the news and everything. But when I got back here, you know, it was very reassuring to see that, you know, people were largely going about their business. They were people in the trains, there were people in the stores. It's a kind of bulwark against crises, the ability to just live life as per normal. And therefore, I think that, you know, it is also a kind of civic service for people like me who are low risk to just, you know, keep society humming, keep the economy humming, and just keep life moving on as much as we can. So that, for my thoughts on the current COVID situation, it's time to go back to getting some work done. Oh, and a quick footnote to that last brand. Somebody just shared a little piece of writing from my favorite author ever, C.S. Lewis. He was writing about the atomic bomb but what he says here, as pointed out by this article, is also relevant to how we react to the coronavirus, right? So, relevant paragraph here. 
This is the first point to be made and the first action to be taken is to pull ourselves together. If we are all going to be destroyed by an atomic bomb, let that bomb, when it comes, find us doing sensible and human things. Praying, working, teaching, reading, listening to music, bathing the children, playing tennis, chatting to our friends over a pint and a game of darts. Not huddled together like frightened sheep and thinking about bombs. They may break our bodies, a microbe can do that, but they do not dominate our minds. Now of course, with that said, you should be very cognizant of your own risk group as well. If you're in a high risk group, or if you're in constant contact with people who may be in high risk groups, you will want to be extremely cautious over this COVID situation because, well, you don't want to be the reason someone else dies, really. That's going to wrap up this vlog. I know I talk about going out in this vlog, but this vlog is the one vlog that I don't actually go out. So, actually I did go out a couple of times in the week, at night, and I took a few time lapses in this trip, so I guess that's a good way to end the video. So, thank you for watching, enjoy the time lapses, and I'll see you next time.